Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. So if you're new, hi, my name is Diana and I make random videos. So if you want, you can go ahead and check out my channel. If you end up liking it, then go ahead and subscribe. And yeah, so um, today's video, I'm just gonna be doing like a Mother's Day DIY gift or DIY Mother's Day gift or whatever. <laughs> Basically, I just decorated a mason jar and honestly, I feel like it would be such a great gift to gift your mom um, Because you can decorate the mason jar however you want. It doesn't have to be the way how I did it I decided to do it that way for anyone who you know is interested in trying to Recreate it so you don't have to do it the way how I did it. This is just an idea and then also it's it was like really affordable like I got all that stuff under just ten dollars but also after the DIY I am just gonna talk about what other gifts you should gift your mom for Mother's Day just in case if you just don't want to do the DIY and just want to gift her something else alright so let's just get with the DIY okay so some of the things that I got from Dollar Tree are flowers this box this ribbon some of these um what are they called chalkboard wood sticks but anyways it's like a little sign and then i got some snickers because my mom loves snickers and garfield is in the way so i got these little gym thingies so yeah this is basically like the stuff that i got all that was like around nine dollars nine something because you know because of taxes and stuff but yeah all right so let's just get started so i already had this so they probably have some at dollar tree i'm not sure but i already had this mason jar all right so the first thing that we need is a mason jar oh yeah and also you will need some hot glue or you can use some gorilla glue whatever sticks better i don't know why there's tape on my floor all right now that the hot glue is already heated um we are just gonna get this ribbon this is basically gonna go around also make sure to see what your mom loves because like my mom she loves sparkly things so make sure you find something that you think your mom is gonna love i am just gonna put some right there also so i can just not move a lot and then i'm just gonna put some glue there I'm just gonna press it with scissors. So what I decided to do is wrap something around here. So what I am gonna do, um, I have like a crafty little box here. So I have these like tapes. And so I, what I'm thinking about doing is adding this right here. Cause I feel like it would look really, really pretty. And then since my mom loves glitter, I just gonna put that there so i am just gonna measure it yeah i don't know if it'll be too much but it's whatever all right so that's where that tape is gonna go and then i'm gonna put another one in the bottom right here i actually got these from michael's and you can actually find some of these tapes like on the clearance section or something because i know that some of the stuff from at michael's can be a little pricey and you know not a lot of people can afford like all this crafty stuff so yeah i am just gonna put this right here this is just gonna go all along oops This is gonna go all around the jar. So basically, I am gonna make this the back and then this is gonna be the front. And then also, you don't have to do pink. You can do like your mom's favorite color. I ignore my nails. I know they're bad, but as you can see, um, there's like a little flap here that it doesn't want to stick. So what I am going to do is I am just going to grab my super glue and then this super glue actually has like 
a brush. So just put some super glue there. See, now it looks way better and it doesn't look like this one. All right, now it's time to add some gems. Just look at these, these are so pretty. They're actually really cute. All right, so these are actually like stick-ons, but I would suggest for you to put some super glue because I feel like these won't, you know, stick that well. So I took off the middle part, which was like this silver one, and we're just gonna stick it on to here, which is the middle. Oh, whoops. <laughs> I took off the, whoops. I wasn't supposed to take this one off. Uh, okay. <laughs> All right, so this one is gonna go here in the middle. This is where we're gonna place it, but I am gonna have to super glue it because, you know, I don't think like this is that sticky anyway, so yeah. Um, I'm just gonna place some super glue all over here. So that way this thing can stick way better. So I'm just gonna place that right there. Yeah. Right there. All right, now we're gonna go with the other gems. And these are just really like individual. So basically this one, I am just gonna put it right here. That's where I'm just gonna want this one. Make sure it's not crooked. And put another one, probably I am just gonna put it right there. And so basically I'm just gonna put these all the way around. Okay, now that we're done with that, we're gonna add some more to the bottom. All right, so now it is done. And if you wanna add more gems, you can, but I feel like I'm not gonna add anymore because I was gonna add these to the top over here, but then I'm like, no, that's gonna be too much. So I'm just gonna leave it like this, nice and simple. Some of you probably would think that the gems are like too much and I should have only left like, you know, just the ribbon and just this. But, you know, my mom loves sparkly things, so I ended up, you know, putting more gems on it. And so now I am just gonna make sure to secure it with super glue. So what I am gonna do is I'm just gonna grab some tweezers. I mean, they're holding on pretty good, like they're sec secure, but um, if you want that extra security, you can just add some super glue to secure it really good and i'm just gonna put that right there i'm just gonna make sure it's good so yeah i'm just gonna put super glue to all of these gems and then i'm gonna go gonna go back and just put more on this one oh it's already dry so yeah i am just gonna put some on this little gem 
and make sure that you're using some tweezers to stick them on because you don't want to stick your fingers that's if you're clumsy like me because I'm really really clumsy whenever it comes to these things so yeah so yeah I am gonna super glue all these gems and I'll be right back okay so in the jar you can put whatever you want in it you can either put your mom's favorite candy or her favorite brand of makeup or you know anything that you think that she would like since my mom's favorite candy is snickers i am just gonna put some snickers in there and then i got these flowers so i'm just gonna put these flowers in there try not to stab you know the candy all right so these flowers are kind of long so i am just gonna end up cutting them all right so the way how i cut them i just basically bended the the stem and it just cuts through easily so this is what it looks like like i said you can put whatever you want inside the jar but also i have this little box here honestly what you could put is you know like a necklace or something let's say i got her like this necklace not really, but you know, it's my necklace. But you can put like a necklace and some earrings in there. Oh yeah, I forgot about these. Um, I actually wrote them with colored pencil. Just any like white colored pencil is fine. And you could just put these right here. It's like little signs. And there's one that I made like that says, I love you, mom. I don't know if you can see it. Can you tell on camera? See, as you can see, uh, it's a little sign that says, I love you, mom. And then there's one that says, happy Mother's Day. And then there's another one that's in Spanish. It says, feliz dia de las madres. So yeah, I feel like this would be like a cute little gift for your mom if you don't know what to get her. Or also, what you can do is fill up this jar with water and just like put you know some flowers in here um these flowers are a little too big but just pretend that you know the flowers are in here but yeah this is just an idea how you know it's gonna look like if you just put water and real flowers in the jar and i feel like it would be super cute also you can also get her i don't know like her favorite chocolates or something in this box or you could just get her you know a necklace bracelet or whatever you want but yeah, obviously you could get your mom whatever you want. She could keep it for a long time because she could use this to store, you know, her Q-tips or her cotton balls or whatever she wants in the jar. Because, you know, mason jars come with a cap. So hopefully y'all like the jar idea. I feel like it would be a great idea because it's actually something really, really useful. Everyone loves mason jars, especially if they're all nice and decorated. And just make sure to decorate it the way how you think is best for you. Um, you could do like your mom's favorite colors, or you could decorate it where it can match your mom's bedroom or her bathroom or her living room, um, kitchen or whatever. So, you know, that's just a thought of mine. Oh, and also I am going to talk about what other gifts you can gift your mama because our moms deserve the whole world, but we can't give them the whole world. I wish we could, but we can't, and you know, they just deserve it all. So some of the gifts can be like a gift basket. So years ago, I did a gift basket for my mom for her birthday, I think it was. Yeah, I think it was for her birthday. Yeah, it should be. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. I think it was her birthday, yeah. So I did a gift basket for my mom for her birthday and I will insert a clip here because it is from a vlog that I did years ago from my other channel. By the way, if you're not subscribed to my other channel, which is a channel about, I guess, Omar and I, the link to that channel should be down in the description box down below. So yeah go ahead and subscribe to that one so, yeah, because i'm thinking to start vlogging again because i actually miss vlogging anyways but yeah so i'm just gonna insert the clip where i made my mom gift basket here so yeah i am going to show you what i got my mom so i got my mom a little gift basket um i don't know if you can tell there's like two boxes here and both of them have shirts they're really pretty elegant looking because my mom she loves to dress all elegant in this little box there is jewelry it's just a necklace and earrings 
And I'm giving her two shower gels from Bath and Body Works. So, but yeah, so this is her little gift basket for her birthday that I got her. And the basket, I got it from Dollar Tree. Same thing with the wrapping and the wrapping paper from the boxes and the box too. And the bow, basically everything. I got it from Dollar Tree. Except, you know, the shirts and jewelry and, you know, the bath and body soap. Let me show you a little montage of my little gift basket because I don't think this does any justice. <laughs> So yeah, that's the gift basket that I got my mom for her birthday. So hopefully you all have like an idea of what to get your mother. Also, a gift idea could be something that your mom uses every day. You could do like a little gift basket of her favorite things that she uses every day, whether it's hairspray, lipstick, blush, um, a necklace that's already worn out but she still loves it I don't know something that your mom can be using like every day and also it's a way for her to save a little bit of money from you know buying those things again so it would be a nice gift to just gift her her favorite things um, so yeah that's an idea another idea is if your mom loves plants and gardening and you know stuff like that um, you could also get her a plant so she can plant it in her garden or you could give her a, a, like a little gift basket of like a garden kit or something but honestly you guys I feel like the greatest gift of all is to just write a letter to your mom something really sentimental something that will make her day you know just make her like feel appreciated because I know a lot of us don't really appreciate our moms enough so it'll be like a nice thing to do is to write her you know a letter or like if your mom has everything and you just don't know what to get her you can just take her out for dinner or you can just go to the nail salon and get your nails done together just make her feel stress free and plan something like whether it's a picnic at the park or you just want her to stay at home and relax and y'all can just start cleaning the house for her or something like that you know do nice gestures too like try to just Make your mom relax and, you know, give her a bottle of wine. Let her, like, sit on the couch and watch TV the whole day. And, you know, y'all can just cook for her, clean for her, and, you know, or, or y'all don't even have to cook. Y'all can just, like, get some food for her from her favorite restaurant or something and, you know, just let her relax and... I feel like every mother needs that like they just want to like relax like have a whole day to themselves but yeah so that's just some ideas that I have for y'all that I can think of you know anything is good because a mother always appreciates what their children give her a mother is always going to be happy whatever you give her whether it's just like a chocolate bar but yeah anyways that's it for this video so hopefully there's a lot of flies. Um, thank you guys for watching and happy Mother's Day to all you beautiful mothers. Y'all do a lot for us and um, hopefully your kids make Mother's Day for you really, really easy and make you happy and stuff like that. Don't forget to subscribe and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.